Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We've got some hilarious and thrilling content to share with you today. Straight from the latest episode of SBS Running Man. Get ready, because Yu Jae Suk and Park Sung Wung are about to engage in an epic badminton battle that you won't want to miss. On the August 18th episode of Running Man, viewers were treated to a special desperate countryside vacation race, where the members, along with guests Park Sung Wung and Yu Kim Ho, took part in an unforgettable game of badminton. But this wasn't just any ordinary match, oh no. The equipment included frying pans, ice picks, and even a gong. Talk about leveling up the difficulty. From the start, Yu Jae Suk and Park Sung Wung, who are same age friends and former baseball club buddies, showed their chemistry by engaging in some friendly banter. But when they ended up on opposing teams, the competition quickly heated up leading to a thrilling match filled with endless rallies that had everyone on the edge of their seats. It was a match for the ages Olympic level intensity with a classic running man twist. Of course, in true running man fashion, there were plenty of irregularities and chaotic moments. The tension between Yu Jae Suk and Park Sung Woon reached a boiling point as they jokingly shouted at each other. Behave your manners and be careful, it wasn't intentional. If you love seeing your favorite stars in competitive and hilarious situations, this episode is a must-watch. Yu Jae Suk and Park Sung Wung's badminton showdown is sure to leave you in stitches. So, what did you think of this badminton battle? Who do you think came out on top? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fun and exciting K News updates. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on I Got News. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been making waves in the BTS fan community. Samsung's recent move to delete a post featuring BTS's Sugar has sparked a major backlash. Let's break down what happened and why fans are so upset. On August 15th, Samsung Deutschland shared a promotional image of Sugar endorsing the Galaxy S24 Ultra along with a tweet that included a poll and photos of Ai and Jimin. But shortly after, both tweets were removed. This sudden deletion has left many fans scratching their heads and feeling betrayed. The timing of this deletion is significant. Sugar has been in the spotlight recently due to his DUI case. Despite his ongoing legal issues, fans felt that Samsung's removal of the post was more about capitulating to media pressure rather than standing by their endorsement. Fans were quick to express their disappointment launching a boycott against Samsung. The hashtags hashtag KMedia are bullies and hashtag KMedia stop bullying have been trending as supporters criticize the media's coverage of Sugar's situation and Samsung's response. Many BTS fans have voiced their frustration, arguing that Samsung, a brand that Sugar has been loyal to, should have continued to support him despite the controversy. The overall sentiment is clear. Fans feel let down by the company's actions. Responses range from disappointment to anger, with some fans even calling for Samsung to repost the deleted images. They believe that supporting Sugar through this tough time is crucial, and they're urging the brand to stand by their endorsement. What do you think about Samsung's decision to remove the post? Was it the right move, or did they cave to undue pressure? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the latest gay news. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an interesting story that's got both fans and Ivy's one young herself a bit surprised. It turns out the idol, who's known for staying cool under pressure, was seen sweating during a recent performance in Japan. Let's dive into what happened. Ivy recently set the stage on fire at Supersonic in Osaka, Japan. With the country's summer heat in full swing, the group delivered a stellar performance despite the sweltering conditions. But what caught everyone's attention wasn't just the intense heat, it was Wan Yang sweating. Yes, you heard that right. Even Wan Yang, who's been in the spotlight for years, was seen dripping with sweat during the show. Fans were quick to express their shock on social media, noting how rare it is to see Wan Yang break a sweat. It seems Wan Yang was just as surprised as her fans. In her messages, she shared how incredibly hot it was and admitted that she doesn't usually sweat much, making this experience quite unusual for her. Wan Yang described how, after a few songs, she suddenly felt something trickling down her cheek only to realize it was sweat. She even joked about how the melting of Wan Yang began, 
with everyone around her equally surprised to see her sweating. It just goes to show how intense that heat must have been. But Wan Young handled it like a pro, and her fans couldn't have been more supportive, even if they were a bit taken aback. It's moments like these that remind us just how much these idols endure to give their best on stage. And even when the heat gets to be too much, Wan Young proves she can shine through anything, sweat and all. What did you think of Wan Young's unexpected moment? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more K-pop updates. Thanks for watching I Got News. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an emotional moment from the 2016 SBS Entertainment Awards that had everyone talking. Lee Kuan Su's acceptance speech not only touched the hearts of fans but also brought tears to Song Ji Hyo's eyes. Let's take a closer look at what happened and why it was such a powerful moment. During the 2016 SBS Entertainment Awards, Lee Kuan Su won the Top Excellence Award for his outstanding work on Running Man. In his acceptance speech, he expressed deep gratitude to the cast and crew. And then, in a heartfelt moment, referred to Song ji Hyu as his real older sister. This touching remark was too much for Song ji Hyu to hold back her emotions. As soon as Kwang Esho spoke those words, ji Hyu started to cry, right there at her table, surrounded by the other cast members. To understand why this moment was so emotional, we need to rewind a bit. Just weeks before the awards show, Running Man was embroiled in a major controversy. Song ji Hyu and Kim yong Kook had been abruptly fired from the show, which sparked outrage among fans. The backlash was so intense that the show's producers decided to cancel Running Man entirely. However, after some serious discussions, the cast and crew were able to resolve their differences, and Running Man continued. At the awards show, the cast attended together in a display of unity, but the emotions from the recent controversy were still very raw. That's why Kwang Su's words struck such a deep chord, especially for Song Ji Hyu. Kwang Esso, often known as the giraffe and the prankster of the group, showed a different side that night, one filled with love and respect for his fellow cast members. For the Running Man family, this was more than just an award. It was a symbol of their resilience and bond after a very challenging time. This moment was a powerful reminder of how close the Running Man cast really is. Even through controversies and tough times, their bond remains unbreakable. And that's exactly why fans have stayed loyal to the show for so many years. Fans were quick to share their support, flooding social media with messages of love for both Kwang Esso and Jihai. It's moments like these that remind us why Running Man is more than just a show, it's a family. What did you think of this touching moment? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more heartwarming K-pop stories and updates. Thanks for watching I Got News. Hey K-pop fans, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about BTS's Jungkook, who recently shared his intense workout routine with fans. And let's just say, it left armies and even fellow member Jin completely shook. Let's break down what happened. So, we all know that Jungkook has one of the most praised physiques in the K-pop world. He's always been committed to his fitness, whether it's hitting the gym or showcasing his boxing skills on social media. But recently, during a live stream, he shared a simple morning workout routine that had armies gasping for air. Jungkook casually dropped a workout routine that sounds more like a bootcamp session than a morning warm-up. It includes 100 squats, 30 reps of an AB workout. 20 lunges per leg, 1 minute planks normal and side, and 15 burpees to wrap it up. And get this, he called it easy. But Jungkook wasn't the only one with something to say. When a fan shared the routine on Weavers with the caption Ji and Jungkook's hell workout, Jin chimed in with a response that had everyone laughing. Jin replied, possible, but you're gonna be suffering in bed for a week afterwards. Classic Jin, right? Jin's reaction is basically how we all felt when hearing about this intense routine. Despite being fit himself, Jin is just like us sometimes. The idea of doing nothing and enjoying a chill day sounds a lot more appealing. Fans took to social media to share their thoughts, with many agreeing that Jungkook's definition of easy might be a little different from the rest of us. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast or more like Jin, there's no denying that Jungkook's routine is seriously impressive. So, what do you think? Are you up for trying Jungkook's hill workout? 
or are you siding with Jean on this one? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates from the world of K-pop. Thanks for watching I Got News. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a heated controversy surrounding Yixo's Chinyil. The idol is currently facing massive backlash after a photo featuring him and his female backup dancers went viral in Korea. Let's break down what's happening. It all started when a photo of Chen Yil and his female backup dancers gained attention on various online community sites. The image quickly went viral, sparking a heated debate among netizens. One particular post on Pan, titled Even After EXO Channel's Controversy, He Still Can't Let Go of His Female Dancers, has racked up over 80,000 views and led to intense criticism. Netizens were quick to voice their frustration with many questioning why Chen Yu seems to favor female dancers in his performances. The conversation took a turn as some users speculated about his personal relationships, with comments even suggesting he might be romantically involved with one of the dancers. Others referenced past controversies, accusing Chen Yu of being a womanizer and expressing disappointment in his choices. This isn't the first time Chen Yu has faced public scrutiny. His interactions with female dancers have been a topic of discussion before, but the recent photo seems to have reignited those concerns. Many fans and netizens are divided on the issue, with some defending his choices as part of his artistic expression and others condemning them as inappropriate. Reactions on social media are mixed. Some fans continue to show their support for Chen Yul, arguing that he has the right to choose his performance team. Others, however, feel that he should be more mindful of the public's perception, especially considering his past controversies. So, what do you think about this situation? Is the backlash justified, or is it an overreaction? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on your favorite K-pop stars. Thanks for watching I Got News. Hey armies, welcome back to our channel. We've got a fun update about BTS's Jin that's got everyone talking. In the latest episode of Run Jin, our worldwide handsome made a pretty impressive flex, and it's all about that exclusive black card. Let's dive into what happened. In the recent episode of Run Jin, Jin took a nostalgic trip back to his old high school. Like any true foodie, he couldn't resist checking out the cafeteria. But things have changed since his school days. Not only has the menu evolved, but the prices have gone up too, leading Jin to reminisce about his favorite snacks. Now, here's where it gets interesting. When it was time to pay for his meal, Jin jokingly asked the staff for some money, revealing that even though he's rich, he wasn't carrying cash. The staff, recognizing their superstar alumni, offered to treat him, but Jin couldn't resist pointing out that he's rich and he meant it. Fans couldn't believe their eyes when they saw Jin trying to pay with an exclusive black card. Yes, you heard that right. Jin was about to pay for his high school cafeteria meal with one of the most elite credit cards out there. Talk about a major flex. Netizens and armies were quick to react, with many joking about how wild it is to flash a black card for cafeteria food. Despite his wealth, Jin graciously accepted the free meal from the staff, proving that even with all his success, he's still humble and down to earth. So, what do you think about Jin's black card flex? It's not every day you see a K-pop idol casually trying to use one at a school cafeteria. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more BTS updates. Thanks for tuning into I Got News. Hey K-pop lovers, welcome back to our channel, your go-to source for all things K-pop. Today, we've got some thrilling news straight from the Black Label. If you've been following Blackpink and their extended family, you're going to love this update. Jin's little sister, Ella Gross, is officially debuting and she's the first member of the Black Label's new girl group, Mayo. Let's break it down. Ella Gross first caught our attention back in 2018 when, at just 10 years old, she became a trainee under the Black Label, a sub-label of YG Entertainment. Her stunning visuals and resemblance to Blackpink's Genie earned her the nickname Genie's Little Sister, and she quickly became a favorite among K-pop fans. Over the years, we've seen Ella grow up alongside some of the biggest names in K-pop, including Blackpink themselves. From adorable selfies with Jenny to attending events with the group, Ella has been in the spotlight, 
and fans have been eagerly waiting for her big debut. Well, the wait is finally over. On August 21st, the Black Label dropped a teaser for their new girl group Mauve, and the first member revealed was none other than Ella Gross. The teaser video shows how much Ella has grown and evolved, transitioning from a youthful, light-hearted concept to something more mature and mysterious. Fans couldn't contain their excitement when the news broke. Social media was buzzing with praise for Ella's visuals and pride in seeing how far she's come. After years of anticipation, it's clear that Ella is ready to step into the spotlight with Mauve, and we can't wait to see what this talented star has in store. So, what do you think of Ella Gross as the first member of Mauve? Are you excited to see her debut? We know we are. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more K-pop updates. Thanks for watching I Got News, and we'll see you in the next one. Hello, K-pop enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, your one-stop source for all things K-pop. Today, we're diving into a topic that's sparking some serious discussion online. Blackpink's Hiso recently posted about the Black Label's new girl group, Melv, and its first member, Ella Gross. While her post was meant to celebrate, it's led to mixed reactions, particularly in relation to another YG entertainment group, Baby Monster. Let's break down what happened just recently. The Black Label announced that Ella Gross, often dubbed Blackpink Ginny's little sister, is the first official member of the upcoming group Mauve. He so took to Instagram to share the news, posting a clip from Ella's debut teaser and offering her congratulations. However, Jisoo's post quickly became a hot topic. Some netizens criticized her for not publicly supporting Baby Monster, another YG entertainment group that debuted not long ago. They pointed out that while He so has been vocal about Ella, she has remained silent about Baby Monster's members on social media. On the flip side, many fans jumped to Jisoo's defense. They emphasize that Ella Gross has a personal relationship with the Blackpink members, having grown up with them since she was young. This connection goes beyond just label mates, and Jisoo's support is rooted in a long-standing bond. Fans also noted that Blackpink has shown support for Baby Monster in various ways. Before Baby Monster's debut, three out of four Blackpink members served as mentors for the group with Lisa, in particular, offering personal guidance to the Thai members, Farita and Chiquita. So, what do you think? Is the criticism of Hisu fair? Or is it more about the personal bond she shares with Ella Gross? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more K-pop updates. Thanks for tuning into I Got News. See you next time. Hello, Ami. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates from the world of BTS and beyond. Today, we're talking about the moment that had everyone buzzing BTS's Jimin going shirtless and showing off his tattoos in the latest episode of Are You Sure? Let's dive right in. In the newest episode of Are You Sure? BTS's Jimin left armies absolutely stunned. The show, which also features Jungkook and V, has been giving fans a closer look at the members' lives, but this time, it was Jimin's turn to steal the spotlight when he took off his shirt, revealing his stunning moon tattoo. Jimin has been teasing fans with glimpses of this beautiful tattoo since 2023, but this episode offered the clearest view yet. The intricate design, which has been slowly revealed over time, had fans swooning. And let's be honest, Jimin's entire look left everyone in awe. It's not just Jimin who's been sending hearts racing. In previous episodes, Jungkook also went shirtless giving fans a peek at his own tattoos while having some fun with Viet. The show has been a treasure trove of moments like these, allowing fans to see a more relaxed and playful side of the BTS members. Armies, what did you think of this latest episode? Were you as blown away as we were by Jimin's tattoo reveal? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you want to stay up to date on all things BTS, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning into I Got News. See you next time. Hello, Army. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the most important updates from the world of BTS. Today, we're diving into a topic that's causing a lot of controversy in the fandom the call from some armies to cancel the screenings of Jungkook's upcoming documentary. Jungkook. I am still in Israel. Let's break down what's happening and why this boycott is gaining momentum. Recently, 
Hype announced that Jungkook's highly anticipated documentary, Jungkook, I Am Still, will be released in cinemas worldwide starting September 18th. Fans are excited to see behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive interviews, and performances from the beloved Magnin. But as much as armies are looking forward to this cinematic event, not everyone is on board. A growing number of armies are demanding that Hype cancel the documentary screenings in Israel. The reason? Ongoing protests against Israel's actions in the Gaza Strip and its treatment of Palestinians, which have led many to view Israel as an apartheid state. Given the gravity of the situation, these fans argue that it would be unethical for Hype to proceed with screenings in Israel during such a turbulent time. Armies have taken their concerns to social media, with hashtags like hashtag HYV divest from Zionism trending as they tag Hype and the documentary's distributor, Trafalgar. Some fans have even started emailing the companies directly, urging them to reconsider the screenings. This isn't the first time armies have taken action like this. Similar campaigns were launched for Seventeen's and Sugar's documentaries earlier this year. This situation is bringing up a lot of emotions in the fandom. On one hand, fans are eager to support Jungkook and celebrate his achievements. On the other, there's a strong desire to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people during a time of crisis. It's a complex issue that's led to a deeply divided response among armies. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you support the boycott? Or do you think the screenings should go ahead as planned? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you want to stay informed on the latest in K-pop and BTS, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey! K-pop fans, welcome back to our channel. We've got a fun update today about 2PM's OKT Sian and how he recently responded to some playful criticism from his fellow members and a certain former TVXQ member. Let's jump right in. In a recent episode of Kim Jae-joon's YouTube series J Friends, 2PM's Jun Kay made an appearance, and the two had a candid chat about their experiences as second-gen K-pop idols. During the conversation, Jajun confessed that 2PM's beastly idol image had influenced him and his members to work out more, feeling the pressure to keep up with 2PM's muscular image. Jun K, in response, revealed that despite the beast idol label, he's not naturally as big as his fellow members like Tsien. He jokingly accused Jajun of throwing some subtle shade at Tsien for being too big these days, sparking some good-natured banter between the two idols. But the fun didn't stop there. Jejun mentioned that he recently saw Tisian enjoying a meal at a Gopchang restaurant, and both he and Jun K laughed about how Tisian is clearly not too worried about his diet these days. And guess what? Tisian wasn't going to let that slide without a response. Tisian responded to Jejun's post promoting the episode with a cheeky comment saying his ears were itchy, which in Korean culture means he sensed that someone was talking about him. Fans love the playful interaction and couldn't help but laugh at how Tsien always seems to be the topic of conversation among his members. It's always fun to see these idols joke around and show their close bond, even after all these years. What do you think about Jun, K and Jejun's playful jabs at Tsien? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things K-pop.